Hey guys, it's Coot Steph, and welcome to another conspiracy theory. So today we are changing it up a little bit and we're gonna go to Disney Channel for some conspiracy theories. I'm just gonna start off with the biggest one that you could tell is in like the name and the thumbnail. As much as it's, it's like not a conspiracy theory exactly, but it's more of like exposing Disney Channel because like, what? So, you know the TTIs, the time, hey, I'm Coot Steph and this is the time I found out I had dyslexia. That's not a joke. I don't know. That's a bad joke, but like the Bella Thorne like classic. My name is Bella Thorne and this is the story of the time I found out I have dyslexia. So, you know, all of those. Like, I loved those. They're so funny now. But I was looking on YouTube. I was actually, like, <laughs> I was binge watching them. And I came across these two. And I'm like, I know who they are. So I'm really, 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 really confused right now. I know I just said really a lot. But I'm, I mean, like, what? There's this one. It was called The Time I Got a Big Sister or I Became a Big Sister or something. And I clicked on it because I was like, I don't know if I've seen this. So the second it comes on, it's like, hi, I'm Jasmine. Look, look at this clip right now. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm 12 years old. And this is a story of a time I became a big sister. So like, who is that? That's Zendaya? That is Zendaya. Okay, that is not Jasmine. That's Zendaya. This is staged. So like... Is Disney Channel, like, all of these staged? I mean, what? The guy that climbed Mount Everest, that can't be staged. There was video proof. There was picture proof. Does Bella Thorne even have dyslexia anymore? I don't know. And then the other one was about the time I... Something soccer. Something about soccer. Hi, my name is Russ. I'm 11 years old. This is the story of the time I gave myself a second chance. Like, isn't that the eyebrows guy from Shake It Up? Like, was this, like, a test run? Like, okay, Shake It Up, kids. Like, are you guys good actors? And the funny thing is, like, when I watch this, I'm like, I remember maybe seeing it, like, once or twice when I was growing up. But then you look at it and you're like, why haven't I seen this that often? Like, I used to see the time I climbed Mount Everest, like, every other day. So that's why I'm thinking, like, that is Zendaya. That is the eyebrows guy from Shake It Up. And they took it off the air because they're like, oh, wait. Like, they're in a show now. That is not Jasmine. That is... What was her name in the show? It was, um, Cece and... Rocky. Rocky. Thank you, Beth. Okay. Yeah, so that was Rocky. Dumb. Anyway, don't you guys think that's that's a little weird of Disney? Like, what about the this is me? Like, what is, what is real and what is not real? So that was me exposing Disney Channel. Like, that wasn't a conspiracy theory because now we know it is fake or some of them have to be staged. I mean, what about the guy that had cartwheels all around the world? Or I mean, all across America. Like, that was real? That was legit? Or was it a green screen? I don't know. Now we're going over to the actual TV shows, and we're gonna start with Hannah Montana. So, as we know, Hannah Montana is famous, and then there's Miley Cyrus, or sorry, My Miley Stewart. Miley Stewart. She is, like, trying to pull the normal girl thing, but the thing is, like, her face. Like, you could totally tell. So, the conspiracy theory is that her dad hired Lily and who's Milo? No, it's not Milo, is it? Beth! What? Who's Hannah Montana's friend? Lily and Milo? Lily and... Just look it up. Frick! Hold on. No. Yeah, I can. Mitchell Musso. Mitchell Musso. That's not his name in the show. Milo? Yeah. Where'd you get Milo from? What the heck? OLIVER! What the heck? It's not even close to Milo! Oh, but I was thinking Milo and Otis. So, that's Oliver. Get it? Okay. No, wait. What's Milo and Otis? It's a show, I think. I don't know. Get out. So, the conspiracy theory is that her dad hired Lily and Oliver to be her friends and, um, and, like, yeah, be her friends because... 
it's so easy to tell, and then this would give her the belief that she is having a normal life. You get the deal. By the way, for the rest of these, there's not a lot of evidence towards them, but I'm just kind of saying, like, what people are, like, thinking. So the next two are about Harry Potter, like, kind of in the Disney Channel world. So the first one is about Zack and Cody and how, like, London Tipton is possibly, like, a previous Hogwarts student because there was this one scene in The Sweet Life on Deck and they were talking about Voldemort and like she had like this crazy reaction. She's like, oh. You bring pictures of you and he who shall not be named Voldemort? <gasps> but yeah, so like that's like, it's either she's dumb and thinks Voldemort's like real or something or it is real and in the same world. We don't know. And then Wizards of Waverly Place is Wizards and Harry Potter is about wizards. So the conspiracy theory is that the Wizards of Waverly Place show takes place after Voldemort wins. Like Harry Potter, like, I don't know, doesn't win, dies, whatever. Voldemort wins. And we could tell because in the episode Tutor Tutor, so leprechauns are like kept in cages and then the elves get their names by like what job they do. And then there's the thing where the tutors can't visit like the Russo family after they've, you know, left. So people think that it's like Voldemort's rule because, I mean, there's no equality of the humans, leprechauns, and elves, and as the tutors, you know. And then there's also the fact that if you disobey or break one of the 11 magic rules that you will get your hands cut off so you can never like hold a wand again. What? I don't remember that in the show, but like that's really harsh. No wonder people think it's Voldemort's like rule. But then it's also like, wait. Wait, for a second I believed that, but then I'm like, what about the head wizard? The one that uh, Justin turns into at the end of the show. It's those little moments where you're like, oh, that could be true, that makes a lot of sense. And then you're like, oh, wait, but this. And then it's like, debunked. It's fine. Honestly, but we don't want Voldemort to rule anyway. I mean, we cannot... He's the one who shall not be named, so, like, it's fine. We don't want him to rule anyway. It's okay. Anyway, that is it for all the conspiracy theories. I know this was, like, a quick, easy video. And like this if you want more conspiracy theories, because I do do that a lot. Comment your favorite conspiracy theory from this list. And also, how shook are you about the, t the TTIs? And if you are not already a cootie, be sure to subscribe to be a part of the coot clan. Yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!